In this video, we are going to learn about the benefits and limitations of continuous glucose monitors. A CGM is applied with one single painless application. You don't need to be pricking your finger like a pincushion to get all these blood sugar numbers. The CGM lasts for about two weeks, which is a really good amount of time to get so much data. When you use a CGM, you're also going to be able to see all these patterns of what causes your blood sugar to spike or crash. You're gonna see what's happening day and night without having to prick your finger. It gives you so much information that you can take action on. Some other benefits of the CGMs are that you get to see the effect of food and things like exercise, stressors, sauna, cold plunges, and what is happening during your sleep. And you can see all of this on your glucose monitor. You can use these CGMs to do experiments. So you can really customize your diet to you. You can also see the changes that happen in your body at different times. So for example, if you're getting sick, if you have a bad night of sleep, and so you're really gonna be able to see how to support your body best and what it's really asking you for. Another really important thing we can do is start to connect our symptoms with what our blood sugar is doing. Because a lot of times I hear people say, oh my goodness, I didn't realize that my afternoon headache really coincides with this blood sugar spike that I get from my meal. Or every time my numbers go below a certain point, I'm getting cravings. So it's really, really insightful. Instead of self-medicating, where in the past we may have reached for a coffee or something to get more energy, we can learn, oh, my blood sugar is crashing and this is why I don't have energy. So instead of just grabbing a coffee, we can learn to prevent this from happening in the first place. Another really, really good use is for accountability. I can't tell you how many times I've had a CGM on and been tempted to eat something and said, I don't wanna get a spike on my CGM, my numbers look great today. So it's really, really helpful for that as well. Now for some limitations of the CGMs. While they're really great, they're not 100% accurate. A good friend of mine said, we can send a man to the moon, yet we can't accurately measure our blood sugar. And I feel this sometimes. Sometimes the monitors are just a little bit off and they can can often be from up to plus or minus 20 points off. If a meter is really, really off and really wildly inaccurate, I recommend calling the company, letting them know, and they usually will send you a new monitor. So sometimes some of them are just lemons, but overall, they're mostly really good and really helpful. So keep in mind, they can be off a little bit, and this is also why I recommend having a finger prick meter so you can test to see how accurate is this meter. Is it trending high? Is it trending low, etc. Even if the glucose monitor is off a little bit, it is still really helpful to see what patterns are happening. So even if, let's say, it's trending 10 points high, you can mentally subtract 10 points from it and you can still get a good idea of what your blood sugar is doing after a meal. And finally, the last drawback to CGMs are that they are a little bit more expensive. However, I will say they are absolutely worth their weight in gold for how much information you are going to get about your body and how helpful they are to help improving your health. If you wanna learn more about testing your blood sugar and using continuous glucose monitors, make sure you sign up for my free Sugar Savvy program in the description below.